This is a deep diving incident I've always heard about people going catatonic, but I've never seen it myself until this this time. I was at Izu Oshima, that beautiful island location that maybe I, you've seen on some of my videos before. And I was with a fella who had a fair number of dives. I don't remember, maybe 50, something like that. He, he said, you know, I'm kind of curious about doing advanced, but I'm kind of afraid of depth. I'm afraid of, of deep water. I'm afraid of deep diving. And I said, okay, well, on that particular weekend, I had a lot of dive support. I had, I, don't, I can't remember how many dive masters, but I was well supported. And I said, I tell you what, Diver X, <laughs> I tell you what, Diver X, it's going to be just you and me. And let's do this. If it's okay with you, there's a site, Akinohama, my, one of my favorite sites in Japan. It's one of those anything can happen sites. I will take you there and what we'll do is we'll go up along, like there's a ridge that's about, I don't know, 15 meters, something like that, 15 meters. And we, we could just go along that ridge at 15 meters together, just you and I. And then we'll, we'll get to a spot that I know where down the ridge, there's, there's a large rock with this humongous uh, soft coral on it. They, they look like cauliflower. Maybe I'll, I'll have a picture here. But it's a very interesting species uh, in Japan. They, they get monstrous, as big as humans. So I said to Diver X, here's the dive plan. We'll go together down to 15 meters, along 15 meters, along that ridge. I will get to the spot where I see that rock. It's good enough visibility. We can see it. I will point at that rock when I see it and look at you and give you the okay with a question. This is the question. Okay, are you okay to go down? I'm going to ask you, it's your decision whether you want to go down to this rock. The rock is about 23 to 26 meters deep, something like that. Is that okay with you? He says it's okay in the dive briefing on the surface. We execute the plan. The other divers are going their way. It's just, just Diver X and I. We're going along the ridge. I point down. You're okay to do it. He says yes. We head down. We got down to that rock. And suddenly, as soon as we got down to the rock, he... he collapsed down to the ground and hugged the rock. Hugged the, just hugged down to the rock. And I thought he was joking. He was not joking. And I was, I looked at his face. There was no, no reaction at all. There was no movement of his body. I had the worst feeling, one of the, one of the worst possible things that I could imagine. Because I'm not wondering, how am I going to get this guy up? How difficult is it going to be to get this guy off that rock? What's gonna happen when I, when I try and take him up the water column is everything bad was going through my mind, as it should. So I was trying to get him to, to go up and call the dive. I was like, all right, we're out of here, let's go. He did not want to go up. He would not go up. And what he did was, he, he was clinging on the ground. So I, 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 was, I took his hands and I was climbing him along the bottom back to the incline that goes to that 15 meter ridge. So we were at, like I said, I don't know, 24 meters, something like that, climbing the long way. And he's climbing literally like little, you know, baby steps. But I'm, I'm happy he's moving. But no, no communication. You know, he's breathing. Well, everything is, is going. We're climbing up this incline to the ridge. We get to the ridge. He's fine. Suddenly, <laughs> he's fine. And, you know, he, he snaps out of it. He starts swimming. And we... We, we swim back toward the exit area, which is, I don't know, maybe 40 meters away. And we get to the exit area, and then it's like five meters of water or something. And we're, we're doing a safety stop. And this guy's swimming like a fish, doing dolphin kicks, swimming all around like a goof. It, I, I'm just shocked. I mean, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to, to put a judgment like a goof. I mean, maybe, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking he's hyper euphoric or I don't know. Anyway, uh, he was like that for, you know, right, right at the, the ladder that goes up to five meters. And, and like I said, he was happy as a lark hanging around. And we, we went up later and I debriefed. I said, you know, hey, what happened? <laughs> he, he said, uh, well, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm scared of depth. You know, it, it's interesting because I assume you're all divers watching this. There's not, you know, other than the first time or two that you go deep, you know, there's nothing different about being deep. I mean, if, you're, if your eyes were closed, if you weren't looking up, you wouldn't know how deep you were. I guess it's just all a mental thing, and, and it is what it is. So instructors or, or folks with, with buddies, I mean, what, what's your experience down below? I'd be really interested. 
folks that you've known that have had uh, phobia against depth or have reacted to depth or any reactions to depth, it all ended well. Turns out I never dove with that, with that fella again. In retrospect, I was really, really not looking forward to taking that diver to the surface if he did not want to go to the surface. I mean, having a fight to get him off that rock and up to the surface, that would have been an absolute nightmare. Up the water column, yeah, I, I'm sure, uh, you know, there are probably folks out there saying I should have wrenched him off and, and just inflated the BCs, but just thinking about a fight on the way up, spitting the rag, grabbing my rag, yeah. The climbing up, the climbing up worked out. Also, uh, there's been some discussion, maybe uh, folks would not have dove around the safety stop or even taken a safety stop. We're up to the 15 meter spot and then just up to the surface from there. Um, I made the call, he looked stable and energetic and we went to the, the exit area, which was swimming depth. In fact, you probably saw there are swimmers in that area and that, that ended the, uh, the dive experience for, for that diver. That brings me to the end. Thank you so much for the folks who are the subscribers and who watch all these videos. It makes it worthwhile for me to see that people are out there watching and I will see you safely on the beach next time. How's that working out for you? What, being clever? Great. Keep it up then.